consider subscribing, don't forget to press on the bell notification bell. It's the only way you'll be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you so much for the returning subscribers. Thank you so much. New subscribers, please consider subscribing. Let's get to share, let's get to learn from one another. Let's get to share some of this important information. In today's video, we are going to look at the other segment that is being discussed in the new labor law in the UAE that will be coming into effect in 2020. For those people that are planning to be working in the UAE, for those people that are already in the UAE, in the seven Emirates that will make up the UAE, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and other Emirates, this is good news for you. For people who are planning to go to the UAE uh, come 2022, this is good news for you. Let us try to look in this segment. What does the law talk about? Deductions, passports, overtime, and overtime exemptions. Those are four different scenarios. What does the law talk about? Deductions, passports, overtime, and overtime exemptions. Remember, these are all totally different situations. For example, I can give you an example of passports. Most companies or most employers will, with, will withhold your passport until you finish up the probation period. In Qatar, it's around six months. In UAE, I think the introduction of a new probation period will be three months. But remember, during that period, probation period, most companies hold your passport. You do not have custody of your passport. It's the company who is custody of your passports. What does the new law that is coming into effect 2022 in Dubai, in UAE, what does the law talk about these scenarios? One, I'll just go straight into the small segments as trying to break down or as they're broken down and we get what does the new law say. One, deductions. Deductions from wages of up to 50% of the monthly wage will be permitted. For example, if you've done something wrong, you violated, the, you breached the contract, your employer has a right to deduct 50% of your salary. That is what is the new law. So for those people that have been breaching the contracts with their employers, this is not good news for you guys, right? Because your employer has the right to deduct 50% of your salary. For passports, employers are ex expressionally prohibited from retaining an employee's passport. That is what the new law says. Your employer will never have a right to withhold or to take custody of your passport in the coming new law. Starting effect February 2022. For those employers who have been doing it, this is the time for you to give out the passports because the passports remains the custody of the owner. So the new law says employers will no longer be allowed to be the custodians of your passport or to be custodian of your passport because it is a personal booklet that you're supposed to have. For overtime, overtime will be coupled at 144 hours in every three weeks period and will be calculated according to the basic salary pay only. Remember, the overtime will be added every after three weeks. That is what the new law, uh, the new law says. And it will be totaled up in 144 hours. Meaning that your overtime, what you call the overtime, will be calculated in three weeks and it will be calculated according to your basic pay. I think that's very clear a little bit. That is been how many hours you work your overtime, add it together. They will add that every after three weeks, they will add it. It will give you the total uh, ground total that you're supposed to receive as your overtime pay. And this should be with the basic salary payment. Then overtime exemption. The overtime exemption that applies under the current law for the employees in the supervisory and management position no longer applies. The executive regulation will determine the new exemptions. Remember, this overtime exemption for employees in the supervision and the management, um, management positions have been exempted. They've been exempted from overtime 
because they normally work fewer hours than the rest of the people. For people who work in offices, sometimes eight hours, sometimes um, nine hours, and for people uh, working in other departments, 12 hours and above. So for the new law, also the uh, overtime exemptions of people in the management positions, provisional management, is also going to be reviewed and new figures will be put accordingly, either to exempt or also to be included in what we call the overtime or the overtime framework that will be calculated over the time of the other. Thank you so much for tuning in to this channel. Thank you so much for watching videos in this channel. Hope you're picking up something. For people are planning to go to Dubai, for people are planning to go to the UAE, this is the right time. I'm trying to break down the small segments such that you know what your entire means, you know what you are supposed to benefit, what you are supposed to get out when you get when the new law comes into effect. Thank you so much for tuning in to this channel. Thank you so much. It's Max from the Max Creation TV. See you again in the next video as we try to break down 